Today we are looking at what I call helping God out. And we start with the song, There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. I look around, no one, no one. I turn around, no one, no one. I look around, no one, no one. There's no one, there's no one like him. <laughs> helping God, helping God, how God with him. But, and of course, there are two instances that I've cited in this particular podcast. You see this person that was actually well intentioned, you know, the the oxen that was carrying the ark of God, you know, had you know uh, had run into some kind of bump and was about to, in his own mind, he thought it was about to fall. So he wanted to help out. And look at what happened in verse seven of Second Samuel chapter six. And the anger of the Lord burned against Uzzah, and God struck him down on the spot for his reverence, for his reverence, and he died there beside the ark of God because it wasn't part of the personnel that was supposed to handle, you know, uh, these matters. Of course, the second one is where you see play out in the Middle East, where you have Abraham, you know, God had promised him a child through his wife, Sarah, but they were waiting and waiting, and they decided to help God out by having Ishmael. And that is the crisis that is actually playing out in the Middle East. So just stay in your lane. If God has made a promise, believe God for that promise, wait on the Lord until he brings it to pass. Exodus chapter 19, verse 8, then all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Joshua 24, 24. So the people said to Joshua, we will serve the Lord our God and obey his voice. You know, trying to help God out, you know, it doesn't ever end well. So your best bet, whatever God has promised, wait for him to bring it to pass.